Alright guys, so in my last video I was telling you about having some starting issues with my 93 Silverado. It's been kind of intermittent. It'll go two or three days, start no problem. But the uh, last couple of days it seemed to be getting worse. So uh, let's get in here and I'll show you, see if it's going to do what it's been doing. And if so, we'll see if we can troubleshoot. And I'm pretty sure I know what the cause is, but... I'm not 100% positive. Okay, normally with a fuel injected motor, when you turn the key on, it primes up the fuel and it cranks up. As you notice, it's not cranking. <clears throat> Keep an eye on this oil pressure sen sensor. Oh, ugh. Keep an eye on this oil pressure gauge. You notice it cranked up once it got oil pressure. That's a big clue. Also, we have a check engine light on. And it's staying on. Whenever it does this, this engine light will stay on. I'll show you how to pull this code from these old style uh, OB I guess it's OBD sensor uh, onboard diagnostics. This is pretty a pretty simple computer. Uh, not like the ones nowadays where it'll tell you exactly what's going on. Well, let's go down to the shop and we'll get started troubleshooting this booger. So to pull these codes, you just need a repair manual which Haynes is fine, it's got all the codes in it and a paper clip or something similar all you're going to do is make a circuit down here on this diagnostic terminal you want to get Let me get it on my, let me get it in and I'll show you what I'm doing here. So basically you want to jump these two top right hand side pins out. Now when you do that, we'll make sure the ignition key is off. Turn the ignition key on. And if you got it right, you'll see your check engine light. And get over here to it will flash one and then one one so that's 12 all right that's telling you that you're hooked up everything's fine then you count these three one two 32 it'll flash it three times two three one two so that's 32 So that's the first code. Two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's the second code, 37. So that's showing 54. So we've got a 32, a 37, and a 54. It'll keep flashing codes, and then when it runs back around to flash 12 again, that's all the codes. And what was that one? one. That's 54, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, two, three, four, five, seventy-five. So I've got seventy-five, fifty-four, thirty-two, thirty-seven. That's flashing twelve again. So that's all the codes. 
Alright. Let's see if I can remember all these damn codes. Now, you just look in the back. Go to troubleshoot. Trouble codes. Six four. Let me get this out. All right, so the first code was the third two EGR failure. I've been getting that. Uh, I think I got a bad EGR valve. All right, I don't see a 37 in this section. 54 fuel pump relay low voltage. What was that? 75. 75 system voltage low. So if ECM takes low ignition feed voltage. Now I did have a uh, 54. Or thought I did. Now this is supposed to be for only 94 and later models. Which mine's a 93 but it's showing that 75 code. Hmm. Oh, it was 37. Oh, yeah, it was 37 with brake switch. Text brake switch stuck. I've been getting that one too, but only when I get the other one. So, our next step is to check this mess up here on the 93. Fuel pump relays here. You got a fuse fuel pump fuse is right here this is your uh, voltage uh, bus bar so all these is hot so if you ever want to check your uh, fuel pump all you need to do is take this fuse loose and just stick it to one of these terminals and you can power up your fuel pump your fuel pump relay we'll look at the wiring diagrams on it and we'll see what causes this to close in. All right, unfortunately, this particular wiring diagram is continued from one page to the next. Let's see if I can get it where you can see it. Here's our fuel pump relay. We've got a ground. We've got a uh, dark green and white. It's going off the page 21. It goes off this page to 29. Okay, so that dark green and white. here dark green white that's your fuel pump relay control coming from your control module or computer you can see all that's powering off that so your computer will turn it on and what that does is when the computer says I need to close this in it powers this up which is a magnetic causes this switch to Close down to here. So normally, when it's closed and running, it's coming from this orange wire. Damn. Hate these uh, wiring diagrams. Orange 25, orange, orange, orange. All right. Back over here. Our orange is to the battery. That's back to the control module. And we also have a fuel pump prime connector, which is this red, it's hot. Now if we look, coming down this gray wire here, No, it goes this pressure switch, fuel pump oil pressure switch. This orange wire 
from the pressure switch. back over here to the battery so what happens is when this fuel pump oil pressure switch senses pressure it will close that circuit in power in this circuit right here to your fuel pump so it bypasses this whole relay once you pick up oil pressure and that is key Right now, we're running because this oil pressure switch picked up and sent pressure, I mean power, to the fuel pump. And we've got another gray wire. It's number six gray. It turns into number 11 gray. electric fuel pump in so one of two things are happening I'm getting a low voltage on this circuit for some reason so either the fuel re pump relay <coughs> is bad <coughs> or I've got a problem going back to this uh, the uh, PCM powertrain control module that's not sending the correct signal, correct voltage out, which would be this circuit right here, fuel pump relay control. That should send that circuit out. Tell this to close in. That's, so if it's not getting this circuit, it's not closing this switch in. So a couple things would be going on here. I don't have anybody here to help me today, <clears throat> so uh, there's no easy way of testing that without some, some, somebody working the switch for me. So I've already bought a fuel pump relay. I'm going to go ahead and change it out and uh, see if we'll get any better results. Alright, so the fuel pump relay on this one. Fairly simple to get to. What I'm going to do is pull down this this latch, slide this connector out, and then it's just a matter of unbolting these two bolts, taking that off. So that looks like about a 10 millimeter. I'm going to plug this connector back up. see if we're getting better results so if this don't solve the issue we'll uh we'll have to go further in our diagnostics to uh determine the cause hopefully this will solve the problem all right so i just put the uh, relay in first test i had not tried it yet and as you can see we're still having issues so it's not the relay So that only leaves us with two options. Either our damn uh, PCM's giving issues, or we've got a damn bad wire somewhere in between there. So uh, without somebody here to help me troubleshoot, that's about as far as I can go.